In this tutorial video for AutoCAD 2013, I want to go over how you use the scale tool in the modify panel. So the scale tool is this one right here. It looks like a small square within a larger one. And we do the same process here in terms of picking the function and then selecting the objects. So on my screen I have two identical copies of a shape and then a larger rectangle as I'm, uh, I'm going to use that for reference in just a minute. So to scale something there's a couple of ways to do it. The first way of course is to do your selection and then hit enter to tell CAD you're done selecting and then we're going to pick a base point and this is the same thing that we've done with move and copy and rotate and mirror. It's, it's all the same type of process. So I'll pick this lower right hand corner that right angle of the triangle and now what I can do is of course just move my mouse and click and that will give me just some arbitrarily larger or smaller shape. But that's very hard to control. Uh, what I really want to do is enter a scale factor. So what you need to do is understand that the number one is a hundred percent. So anything smaller than that will be fractionally smaller and larger will be larger. So for example if I type in 0.5 enter that is 50% of its original size. Okay, so that was 0.5. I'm just going to undo that, Control Z. So if I do scale, select my shape and hit enter, pick my base point. If I do, for example, 0.75, that's 75% of its original size, which so shrunk by 25%. Undo that. And to make it bigger, I'll do the same process, but this time maybe I'll say two. So now that's twice as big as this original. So that's doing the scale factor. I'll just undo that to get it back to normal. We can also do it by a reference, and that's how we would rotate something by a reference, for example. We did that before. So to scale by a reference, what you need is an object that you're trying to match. So in my example, I'm going to want this right triangle here to be the same height as this rectangle, okay? So I'm going to pick scale, select it, hit enter, pick the base point, but now what I do is type in R for reference as it's prompting me to do in the command line. Now what I need to do is specify my reference length. So I'm going to click this base point and the top of the triangle, so that's the reference length. That's how tall it originally was. Now I need to specify the new length. So I want to make it as tall as this rectangle. Okay, But if I just click over here it might get kind of weird. Sometimes it jumps around. So what I can do is use my object snap tracking down here at the bottom. Make sure that's on. I can hover over this point, bring my line over, click and now I have my shape scaled so that these two objects are exactly the same height. And that's how you use scale.